Hello, Scorpio. To my water signs. We got some spirit guide messages for you today. So, let's get right into it. Let's take a look. We got Six of Wands in reverse, followed by the Star and Page of Swords. I'll just flip this up. Six of Wands was in reverse. So right now, uh, you're feeling a little bit of uh, failure here, Scorpio, right? Things are not going according to plan or, right, you're hoping and having expectations, but they're not working out exactly and things are not flowing here, Um Right, you're making you're making certain choices that might be reckless and and it might be even recognized here or or if not you're you're kind of staying away so it's it's not seen by the public, okay? Because you're not getting uh the recognition that you you deserve here or whatnot, but you gotta understand that things take a little bit of time. There's delays, okay? Um the star card here is telling you to have uh faith in the future, right? That it, it's it's bright. Things are going to look up. It's going to be more successful here. It's just right now, it's not. Okay, I'm not going to cover it here. Or try to sugarcoat it. It's not really nice what's going on right now. You're having problems. You're in a darker place here. Um, you got you to gotta be more positive and bring more positive changes. That's going to bring an end to these challenging times, okay? There is light here. There is hope. OK, it's just you got to communicate that a little bit more, too, uh, if ever. And you got to start putting uh, yourself in the spotlight, right, to cherish yourself a little bit more, to appreciate yourself a little bit more and to do things that are nice for you. Right. Um, the page of uh, swords here says that although right, although these things uh aren't working out according to plan you're definitely logical you have a great perception you're very insightful and you're blunt um there's going to be exciting new intellectual challenges coming your way brilliant insights kind of thing right so the more you're kind of curious in heading towards a more positive mindset and to opening up your horizons to making these positive changes and shedding light in the places that it's more dark, right? And being more optimistic about it. Uh, things are going to be changing here. Um, you might even be receiving uh, more challenging times, but you just got to review uh, these choices and review these actions or whatever's going on very carefully, okay? It's just a matter of analyzing and observing and being objective. Don't take things so personally or to heart here, right? Depending what the situation is, but try to lighten up a little bit. Then we got the world card, followed by the page of pentacles. Oh, sorry, I'm looking up upside down. Followed by nine of swords. And the world card was in reverse, okay? Oh, no, sorry. The page of pentacles was in reverse here. So let's just put them in order. Right? The more you kind of, like, shed light and lighten up and do stuff that are fun, right? That's going to that's gonna make you laugh. That's going to bring joy to you. That's going to make you smile and feel warm inside, okay? You're going to head towards brilliant success. So this failure is going to finally come to an end. You're going to have more success here. And you're going to feel more joyful, uh, more accomplishments and a spiritual enlightenment, right? It's not only going to be about the, oh, okay, I... I finally succeeded. No, you're going to feel lifted at the same time. You're going to have a different perception now because you worked so hard and you you went through the worst. Okay. You're going to have the freedom to do whatever you want. And when this all happens, remember to be proud of yourself and to tap yourself on the back for getting through it. Okay. Because that's important too. Um, for stuff like money and, and work. Okay. It's not the best situation it might not be the time right now uh, considering what you're going through so right if you kind of push towards that and force it you might end up going through a burnout or something like that because you're really not feeling great these days so it it'll give you you're gonna have exciting opportunities but just remember to take on the ones um like that you're comfortable with right you can still go for something new right new area or something but something you're comfortable with. Don't challenge yourself so much. And don't go through so much challenges because you can do it or someone's pressuring you. Do it because for the sake of loving the, and being passionate and, and loving the situation or what you're doing and taking it to heart, okay? Um, Nine of Swords here is like you... 
you're expecting the worst. You, you have like this, this fear that's not quite realistic. Well, realistic. It's not real. It's not, it's not about something that's really there. It's about where am I heading? What's going to happen? Right. It's about the future here where you're not sure because things have been going bad and you've been failing or there's been failure. And it's like you're you're scared that the worst is going to happen and stressing you out. You're not sleeping properly. Uh, and stress is a big it could be cause big health problems. OK, uh, you're allowing your worry to grow out of proportion, basically, to the situation. So, yes, the situation is not the best right now, but don't overdo it. Don't overwhelm yourself and burn yourself out that way because you're having a lot of sleepless nights and you need to refocus your thoughts, rechannel your energy, right? Do something that's going to give you a little release and at least uh, forget it for not forget it, but at least put it aside for a few moments here so that you can get back to yourself, whatever yourself is. Okay. So thank you for tuning in, Scorpio. Bye for now.